Welcome back to the Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 in-depth video course. And in this course, we're going to be using the Adobe Media Encoder. Now what that is, that is a single program that comes with Premiere and it lets you output to quite a few different formats. But before we output, we want to decide how we want to output, uh, to export. Um, there's several different ways. We can export to um, a DVD. We can export to a Blu-ray. We can export to a Flash video file. In that case, using the Adobe Media Encoder will be an ancillary project because... Uh, you're going to be sending all of your files to Encore, which will call the Adobe Media Encoder uh, itself instead of you sending the videos out to Adobe Media Encoder. Uh, if you're sending it to, say, uh, YouTube or Vimeo or for somebody's uh, smartphone or uh, just a file that you're going to put up on your website, then you would use the Adobe Media Encoder. Now, in previous video, I showed you how to output to tape, and that's another way to output. And using the Adobe Media Encoder, you can't directly output to tape. You have to do that from Premiere. But you can do it to quite a few different uh, video file formats, including some... Uh, lossless formats that you can use for your master copy. So let's go in to Premiere and you will see uh, the project that we were working on last time with the color bars and the black video and the countdown. Well, if we're outputting this for, say, a website, we don't need any of that stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these including that one little piece, and we're going to ripple delete. And that way we have it back to starting at the very beginning of the of the timeline. And that also means that we don't need this title, this, or this. We don't need any of this stuff, so we can clear it out. And you notice it cleared out the one at the end that I forgot to get rid of. But it's easier if you just... Uh, clear all that stuff out. If you don't need it, why have it cluttering up your, your project? So we have our music video here. And the way to open the uh, media encoder is go to File, Export, and then Media. And here is the window for Adobe Media Encoder. You have your video on this side. And if you click on your source, you'll notice that you have a way to crop the output video. So if you need it smaller, let me just crop this down. And we'll see what happens on the other side. See, it will cut out whatever you cropped out, and then it expands this up to fill the, the frame. But since we don't want to uh, crop it at all, see our output is back to what we have. Um, down here, we have the current uh, uh, start time, which is still at 58.30. And we can go in and change it, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we can have a... Uh, and in and out point, if we only want to uh, do that one section of video, output just that one section, we have a source range of custom. Or we can get the entire sequence. This is what I usually do. Sequence in and out, work area. So if we created, if we had the work area to here, and we have in here and out here. We can either just do this one with the work area, or we can just do this one with the in and out. We can do the entire sequence, or as I showed you, the um, the custom. 
which lets us define our own. But I usually use the entire sequence. And then on the right hand side, we have our settings for export. And you notice that when I showed you the master output settings, the DPX, it defaulted to that because that was the last thing that we chose. So if you want to reset this pretty quick, you just hit the match X sequence settings and it will match exactly what you have in your source and it will output to the same uh, format. But we don't want to do that because we want to set our own. Now, on all of these we have, um, these are all of our presets that we have available. Now, we can have, uh, if we don't want just audio, we have uh, AAC here, we have waveform here. If we want just uh, the video part, we have an animated GIF we can output. Uh, JPEG we can output, BMP, DPX we can output, and that will just output the um, the video part of it into uh, the BMP and the DPX and the TIFF will be, and the target will, or well, the TIFF will be um, uncompressed. And the, the GIF, obviously, and the JPEG will be compressed down and the PNG will be compressed down. But Let's go in and look at the H.264, which if you're making for the web, will be the most likely one that you're going to choose. And that's because on the preset, we have all of these presets available. You have the, the phone 3GPP video, all the way from 176, 144 to 640 by 480. You have the Android phone and tablet. We have the Android phone, the Android tablet. And we have all of these down here, the iPad 2, the iPhone, etc., etc. You have an HD output, NTSC output, the TiVo, the Vimeo, the website for Vimeo, and YouTube down here. So if you're outputting it to YouTube and you know that your video is going to be uh, 24 frames, 720p, you choose it here. And it will automatically do all of the settings that you need to do for that. 